Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a good week. I have had a really good week. I have gotten so much stuff done. And I know we've talked about this before about, and you guys told me, <laughs> it's so true. I need to be better at making lists. I don't know why. I think when you write stuff down, it's like a commitment and that's why I don't do it. I'll go ahead and tell you my weaknesses. But um, anyway, so this week I had kind of in my head a list and I got so much stuff done. It was just a good week. So the, the only thing bad that happened is yesterday Will was sick at school. He's back today because I don't know if he was sick or I don't know. I don't know. He didn't look real good when I picked him up, but he recovered pretty quickly. And today's Friday. And um, so I figured I'd try to let him finish out one day. And his teachers are all real good. I text with them and um, they'll tell me if he doesn't feel good. But um, they miss so much if they miss one day now. So I didn't want him to miss anything. Um, oh, and I forgot to put this on. I was gonna wear this today. I'm going rose gold. And this is the Hitchcock Madrona. I haven't worn it in so long and I love it. It's the Hitchcock Madrona um, shark tooth cuff. And I love it. It's just so, I don't know. There's something about it because it's so rich looking because of its chunkiness, but then it's so edgy and it's so pretty. It's heavy too. But anyway, okay, I got some good stuff this week. I didn't get a whole lot, but what I did get is quality. <laughs> I'll go ahead and just barrel into everything. This is the fragrance I'm wearing today. I'm not sure what form of this is available now because when I got it, it was like a Nordstrom, Nordstrom exclusive and it's the Valentino Pink. Valentina Pink by Valentino. And I love it. It's one of my favorite wintertime scents. It's one that I wear a lot. And um, when I went upstairs to get my camera, I saw it and I thought, ooh, that's gonna be perfect for today. So that's what the fragrance I have on today. And it's a good one. It's one that I've worn a lot and I know it's a good one. Okay, um, I went in J. Crew this week to, I always like to just, you know, go in there real quick, like once a week or once every other week and see what's on their sale section because they have a good sale section. I saw a red dress that I wish I would have gotten. I didn't because I had ordered another one that I'm gonna show you guys, but they're totally different. So I'm still thinking about it because what they'll do is they'll have a markdown and then they'll have an extra 40% off and you can really get some good stuff. What it is usually is the sizing is limited, but um, this red dress had like ruffle sleeves. I just think it would be a pretty one like for Christmas or I just like red dresses anyway. I think they're so classic. And I love the look of a red dress with that um, beigey faux fur. I think that's so pretty. But I ended up getting, um, I sent a lot of packages off this, this week and I did vlog this week. I didn't get to yesterday because I picked up Will early and once I get my kids, I'm like off YouTube duty. But um, the other three days I did and um, you'll hear me talk about sending packages off and I was sending one to Nadine and I had gone in there to get her that um, nude bandana that I showed you guys because I think it's so cool and I think we're going to be able to wear it in so many different ways and I saw this t-shirt. I'd actually seen it before but it, they were on sale. They were 30% off and there's a really pretty one for Paris too. She said the Paris one was the most popular but I am a sucker for a ringer tee. I just think they look so good under jackets and I just like them. And of course, this is the New York and I loved all of the, like here, I love the high heel, the apple, the glasses, the lipstick. I just loved all of it. The pretzel, it had a lot of stuff that I like. You guys know, for some reason I like taxis. I like, I don't know, I think they're cute. And um, the hot dog dog. Just all kinds of stuff. Fifth Avenue and um, like the high rise building. But I got a medium and I'm hoping that it doesn't shrink too much. I'm gonna try to catch it before I put it in the dryer. I knew I've gotten large in J. Crew before and they were too big under the arms and like through right here. But this one, I don't know. I hope it doesn't shrink too much. But I just think it's pretty. And because it still has black, see the glasses are black and um, a lot of the outlines are black. I know I can still wear it 
with black stuff. I was thinking it would look good under the moto and stuff like that with jeans or I really love the look of a t-shirt like this with a pencil skirt and then a cool jacket. I just think that's such a good look. My friend Denise, we have been, I finally sent her box of goodies off this week and she is much better at the shipping than I am. She sent me another box of goodies. She sent me a sweater that I'm gonna show you, or not, it's not a sweater, it's like a little jacket. And then she um, also had gone to Walmart last week and she was gonna check for the flower powder that you guys told me about, the loose powder, and they were out of it at her Walmart. So I might try to get over there today, I'll see to my other Walmart that's way across town because mine doesn't sell it. But um, anyway, she sent me some flower goodies and this one, I could not get the top. I meant to cut that off. Anyway, this is the lipstick and it is so pretty. I wore it yesterday and I meant to take a picture, but like I said, when I picked up Will, everything flew out of my mind <laughs> that I was supposed to do like that. But it's called Baby Buttercup, which I think is the prettiest name. And it's our typical, she likes the peachy and the peachy nudes like I do, but it is so pretty. At first I thought um, it was gonna age my lips because it's, it's one of those thick, substantial lipsticks, but it is so pretty. It looked so good with um, Lancome Bronzel lip liner. Look how pretty that is. It had the prettiest sheen to it. It's just really, really pretty. Sorry, my Invisalign. They, it, these, the last two, must be really doing something because they're still sore. Like when I, even though I've had this in since the 12th, my teeth are still sore and it's really, when I take it out to eat, I can feel like this tooth hitting on that tooth and they're the both of the ones that were coming forward. And so I can tell it's really doing something. So sorry that I'm being a um, Sylvester. <laughs> Okay, then she sent me this. It's so pretty. You guys are going to have to go to Walmart. This blush, it's called, I guess the name of it is just, or it's just a number. Oh no, it's a Corable. Oh wow, that, that fits it. It's TT1 on the top, but the name is a Corable, and it is beautiful. I've got it on today, and I saved the top that came on it because I felt like maybe you could see the color better when I took it off. It is just the prettiest, come on camera, I'll put it in front of my eyes. The prettiest like peachy, corally, but it's still got like that fleshiness to it and that blushy. It's just one of those that I think is going to go with just any of your pinks, nude, brown, any, and it's got just the slightest bit. Here, I'll swatch it the slightest bit of, um, gosh, in it, I mean, it really almost goes into a cream on your hands. Look how pretty that is. That is beautiful. Good for her, isn't that Drew, Drew, what's her name? <laughs> Drew Barrymore, yeah. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Oh, I just love it so much. I wore it yesterday and today. So those two things, and then she also sent me, where is it? Brooke christened this for me. She had opened it before I even told her who it was from. It's DB2 is the color, and it is a concealer roller ball. And I've tried this two ways. Yesterday, I put it on directly under my eyes. Today, I tried to put it on more um, on my skin, and then put it on the only, and it full coverage, concealer. The only thing is, if any of you have this, tell me the best way to put it on where you get the most product. But it is good. That is, I mean, those are some good products, especially for the money. I'm assuming that they're probably affordable. So thank you, Denise. Another thing that Denise sent me is a pair of sunglasses from Les Specs. I've never tried any of these, but they are so cool. I'm gonna wear them today. I haven't worn them yet because I just got them the day before yesterday. But um, they are aviators, but see, they're the flat that are so popular now, and they're awesome. Look how pretty they are. They're so cool, I love them. And these are the, let me get the note out. I'll keep them on. See how comfortable, and for those of you with cheeks like I have that touch, see how they don't touch at all? And um, she said the Lispec Sunny she got at Primary in uh, Primary NYC, but you can get them at Nordstrom. So she said ours are the gold and khaki. 
went to Banana Republic last night because I got their catalog not too long ago and it has the prettiest stuff in it. I don't know if you got this catalog, but um, I sent a picture to Colleen Rothschild. This picture reminded me so much of something that she would wear. Look at that cool sweater with the fringe coming out of the bottom and those pants and just like some really cool flats. So I went in there looking for, hey Chanel. Oh, she's looking for a way to get on the table. You can come sit behind me, pretty girl. <laughs> but um, I went looking for that like faux fur um, scarf there and they didn't have the pink and they didn't, they were getting a shipment in Thursday. And so that's why I went back and they didn't get pink. And then I was looking for that slip dress and they didn't get that in either. So I might end up ordering those online. Um, but another thing I was looking for, we're going to the men's section, which I love their men's clothes too. Um, look at that dog. Oh, I love it. I love those big fluffy heads. Um, they had a really pretty faux fur in there that of course I wanted, but I had, I talked myself out of it because I've got so many and I ordered another one that'll be here next week. Um, okay, this shirt right there, look how pretty that is. It's like a silky shirt with like a stripe in it and real pretty sleeves with like a bow. Oh, it is so pretty. And my Banana Republic did not have the white or the cream color. I think it's cream but um, I ordered it. So that will be coming soon, but I did get some other things that I'll show you and they're having a good sale right now. It is 50% um, off of one product and then 30% off of um, your, the rest of your purchases. So um, here, I'm gonna show you this one first. It's boring, but might be useful. I picked up this little cami bodysuit type thing because you guys know I love these fleshy tones. I figured it would just go good under, you know, like a, a camisole if I needed it to go under something that was too low cut. Or you can actually wear stuff like this if you know you're going to keep your jacket on. Like a lot of times when I wear my leather jackets and stuff, I know I'm not going to take those off. So you could wear something like this underneath it with a pair of black dress pants or something. So, and you know, because it was on sale, it was regularly $22.50. So I got it cheaper than that. I'll have to put this down for Sassy. <laughs> you gonna come lay on that? Here she comes. You'll probably hear her. The bad thing is she'll start scratching in it. I might regret that. Okay, and then I got um, a couple of statement necklaces and one of them is a gift <laughs> that will be sent out today. And then, um, okay, yeah, this, this one I think is so fabulous. Look how pretty that is. And it was regularly $48 and was, you know, 30% off or whatever. And so there it is. Look how pretty gonna look so good it looks every bit as pretty as all those expensive ones that I bought you know when they first came out and then I bought that one for me <laughs> and then I bought these earrings to go with it I debated on not getting these because I think that my old silver the favorite hoops in old silver would look really good with that necklace but um, I just got these because I just I don't know I liked them and I just thought they were cool. Okay, and let's see what this one is. It might be, okay, this is another statement necklace that I got, and look how pretty that is. And all of these are on their website. I think this one is called the Chic Rebellion, and just look how nice that is. It looks just like my like Tom Benz and other necklaces, or those, um, all those real expensive ones. But I tell you, last year I bought a bobble bar, necklace and I did not think it was it's not made as nice as these are so I just think that is so pretty and I think these will look so good with um, like eat for Christmas parties they're good gifts and um, just with t-shirts you know I like stuff like that just with t-shirts okay and then one of these is that gift I should have um, prepared a little bit yeah okay that's 
the gift. And then this is the other thing. I had been looking at this for so long and I was kind of just waiting on it for it to go on sale and I waited too long because I really wanted the silver one or the white gold one too. But it's um, regularly $48 and it is a lar long, I think it's called cup chain, um, rebellion cup chain or something like that. Oh, it's gotten tangled. Glad I saw that because I, before I ship hers, I will wrap it up in the box. But this is so cool. It is just a continuous chain like that of little, let's see if it'll focus, but it's of little, um, you know, crystals, C to Z's or whatever. And then you just put it on, look how pretty it is. And so you can layer it with anything and it'll look so pretty. It, yet last night when I went, I had on just a gray t-shirt and my um, Anine Bing, Anina Bing, um, moto jacket and it looked so pretty it really looked good with it because it has the gold hardware and so love that and i think it's going to be a very versatile piece to wear with um like dean davidson jewelry like with his other necklaces i want to really i told brooke that on like sunday night we need to get out my j crew jewelry and like each week set out some stuff to wear that week because so much stuff gets overlooked or forgotten about and so that's what I want to start doing. I just wanted to say I also love this case that those glasses come in. I find that if I get a case like this for some reason I will keep them in the case even in the car or in my purse but if it's one of those like I have this one out here from Valentina if it's one of these I don't do that as much. One of my most exciting things that I got this week you know I'm doing my powder reviews and several of you have asked me to try the um Chanel powder, um, the Chanel loose powder. So I'm going to go to the counter maybe today and just look at that because I don't think I've ever worn Chanel loose powder. And then one of you, I think day before yesterday, said I had to try the Lancome Absolute powder that you loved it, that it made your skin look flawless. And I think just that day or the day before, Tammy and I were either talking or texting and she said she wanted to try it. So last night I went out there and I bought it. Now I already had the Absolute powder in um, Golden. And um, this one is, they're all called Radiant Smoothing Powder, but two of them have like more of a shimmer to them. I think Golden, let's see what this one's called. Yeah, Absolute Golden. The Golden does, and then one other one. And so I guess that's why in my mind I had already tried it. So let me swatch the Golden. It's still like, I don't know why I haven't worn this again but it is still beautiful and it has like a shimmer to it. And I think that Jaclyn Hill likes this. I mean, just, I wish y'all could just feel how smooth that feels after I put it on. So that is the color of the golden. And it's, um, it's got, even though it says golden, it's got kind of a pinky tone to it. But anyway, okay. So when I went last night, I ended up having Myra who has worked at the Lancome counter forever and we've worked together many, many times. So she ended up getting them out and um, we tested all of them. And this one, when she put it on, she just took like a, I don't know if she took the puff or if it was a tissue, but she just swatched it on my face right there. And she said, see, look, she said, you can tell where I put it already. And when I looked in the mirror, I was like, Oh my gosh. I mean, I was like, I'll take two because I got uh, Tammy one too because we had been talking about it. It is gorgeous. And it still looks, here, let me pour some in the, it still looks like it's dark, even though it's the absolute accru light. And I'm going to swatch it. Here, I'm going to do something. This is where she put it on. I don't know if you can see the difference. It is beautiful. <laughs> okay, love it, love it. Now, I haven't used it enough to like be able to tell you, you know, how it is at keeping oil, and I need to do it, use it one day with um, some different foundations. Today, I have it on with my Laura Mercier Silk Cream, the, new, the newer version, the Silk Cream Oil Free 
because I wore that yesterday and I stopped by my mom's, Will and I did, and I had my mom come outside because I didn't want Will to get out of the car because my niece was there, <laughs> yada yada. And um, my mom complimented my makeup. She said, your skin looks so good. She said, it looks beautiful, but just like skin. And um, I love that. So I used the Laura Mercier to again today and I kind of wanted to recreate what this powder looked like over it for you guys so you could see what I was talking about but I want to try it over like the double wear and a few more before I give you my final answer, but wow. And just read the reviews on it. It gets great reviews. Um, I didn't see a lot of reviews on YouTube, but um, so if you've tried it, let us know what you think. Um, this color seems to be perfect and they don't really have a translucent in this powder. So that's close as I can get. But um, I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick and I'll be right back. I wanted you to see that that golden does have like a sheen to it. I think that would be so cool to put that on like your cheeks where you wanted to, wanted to have more of a shimmer and then put the regular on the rest of your face. So I'll do that next time. But I wanted to make sure you knew that that golden really had that sheen to it. Boy, that is beautiful. It really is. So um, then this, I could not hardly stand, I could not hardly wait to tell you about this. Okay, my camera cut off. I'm not sure how much that cut off. But when I was standing there waiting for her to get the powder and everything, I asked her, have you got any new lipsticks? And I had on at the time my um, Burberry Nude, the really nude one. I told her, I said, I really like nudes. And um, so she said, well, they've reformulated these. And she said, there's, she showed me two of them. One of them was a peachy color, but it was sheer. And I'm not sure, I might still try it just because, but I was scared it would be too sheer. And then she mentioned this one and oh, it is beautiful. It's what I've got on now. And it's called um, Absolute Rouge 250 Beige Mirage. And it's a cream and it is gorgeous. I wish I would have gotten this for Tammy too, but um, it is, when I put it on last night, I was like, oh, I mean, the possibilities are endless with the lip liners. Today, I have it on with, um, oh, it's so pretty. I have it on with Bronzel from Lancome, but then after I was through, I took um, Ideal and did a little bit around the edges just to give it, because you know I like lip liner definition a little bit, but I mean, with Burberry Nude, or um, Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury, or um, if you wanted to carry it more of a um, cool nude, the Natural Mauve from Lancome would be a good one, or Pillow Talk. I mean, you could just take it so many different, so different many directions. And um, it's real neat. Like, you do like that and then it pops out of the bottom. And I just love, what, there's something about the smell of Lancome lipsticks. It just made my stomach kind of flip because I don't know, it's kind of like, I guess old or nostalgic because I've worn these for so long. Sassy. No, that was just my rug she's picking up. <laughs> so anyway, love this. And I probably will try the other one for us too, but I love it. I think it's got the best finish. I don't have any, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Yay! <laughs> I got some good stuff for us this week. So I really, really think many of you will like that. Okay, I'm gonna go take my flip-flops off, put my shoes on, and I'm gonna show you the other stuff that I got, and then I'll be done. I'll let you go, enjoy your weekend. And right now, before I forget to tell you, next week, I don't think I'm gonna vlog. I'm gonna try to do this look, which is basically the same look I've been wearing all week. I even brought it out here I debated on whether to just save it for my favorites. I have worn this eyeshadow every day this week from last week. I think I've worn it Saturday, Sunday, all the way till today. It's the Burberry Almond, and I just love it. It's the only shadow I have on. I don't have on a highlight. I don't have on a base shadow, anything. I just have this shadow in the crease, and I love it. I think that so many of you would like it. It's so smooth. It has the best texture. It's not too matte, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's gorgeous. Okay, first of all, you'll see in my... Um, vlog. I got this from Oliver. I went in there this week and this is the only thing I got, but I love it. She had told me that it was coming in, that she had ordered it, and it's from a brand that I've never heard of. Um, MAP, M-A-P, but it is a beautiful, beautiful bomber, and it's like this blushy rose gold, 
and I love the way these look with dresses. I mean, I like the way they look with jeans too, but there's just something, I think ever since Sarah Jessica Parker wore that white one with her dress in Sex and the City movie, I have been just hooked on the way they look with dresses. So, um, and it is a, um, here I'll show it to you because it's so pretty. It's really nice too. And I really would love to put a pin on it, like my Chanel pin or something, but I don't want to poke holes in it. And I don't want to make a commitment to keep it on there forever. So I don't guess I am, but it's got like the typical, you know, bomber collar. And then I love how that part is like quilted looking. And it has a pocket in here and a pocket right there. Goodness, I didn't know about all these pockets. I just were, I'm wearing it today for the first time. Oh, that's so cool. So it's got pockets in there. So pretty. And then the dress I have on is one that you guys have seen. It is from Gap. And it's like a ribbed, really, really soft t-shirt dress. And it's actually... Um, like mine. It's so nice. I love it. It's going to be perfect for just all year round. Okay, and then the shoes I have on are, I hope you guys can see them, but I wanted to go with just kind of like a classic, I don't know, I just think of like old Hollywood or something when I see black pumps. These are my um, Manolo Blonic BB pumps. And they're just very, very, very good classic pumps. They're and then this is the red dress I was telling you about. I ordered this from The Loft. And I think I might have linked it below with my cherry dress last week. But I just think it's so pretty. Um, let me show you. The thing is, it is kind of thin. It's not, but it's a good heavy weight. But it is, see, it's, it's thin. So it's... Um, I think it would look good with a slip under it. I think I should probably get like a nice, I do have a slip, but I don't know. It depends on what I wear over it. I just know that I'm probably gonna wear this with a faux fur over it, so I'm not worried about it. It's kind of like a, you know, that base layer for me. And I got it on sale. It was, it was a size six. Okay, let's see, 41.70 um, and it, $8.95 to ship. So all together it was $54.07. And, um, but it's just really pretty and classic and I think I'll wear it a lot. And it does have the zipper in the back. Okay, and then this is the jacket that Denise got for me and it is so pretty. It's like velvet. I hope you can see like the texture. And then it has like this ruffle that goes all the way down and then it has the sheer ruffle underneath it and she said that she got it from ebay let me see oh gosh yeah i think it's from china and it is so pretty it's gonna look i want to wear this with like boyfriend jeans and heels and a white t-shirt and one of those statement necklaces like the edgy necklaces all the lights on so i hope that you can see so pretty and this is size small it has the pretty sleeves it's very um, Annabelle Nielsen is who I think of when I see this. Okay, so I think that is it. I've got my lights on now. Chanel's over here laying with me, and I'm getting ready to go out and do some things, and let's see what time it is. I've loved my phone. The camera is so good on this thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Oh, my nail polish is, it's kind of an old one. I'm not sure if they make it anymore. It's Dior purple revolution it's just a dark purple um no earrings because i had just had so much going on today um i'm wearing my i've shown this to you guys before the jenny bird choker it's like rose you can get it in all different colors but i got the rose gold and i'm so glad i did and then my u necklace from oliver so glad i thought about this when i was in there she is getting ready to do a sale online this weekend um i wasn't sure if she was going to do it online but she is sometimes she does store only but i think it's 30 percent off of all denim and a lot of other sales and if you like my poochie sunglasses the ones that have like the different colors that all of her poochie sunglasses were in the uh, sale case with the jewelry and i think she said they were 30 percent off so i'll put that stuff down below and i guess that's it so i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and i will see you soon Bye bye